Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board-certified criminal defense lawyer. We're going to wrap up our analysis of the whole Gwyneth Paltrow, Terry Sanderson case with the uh, kind of a bizarre, comical look at Mr. Sanderson. But before we get to that, this is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com is an effective way to remotely do business. For example, let's say you wanted to star in your own reality TV show because you just sued a you unsuccessfully sued a, a celebrity. Now you think you're going to bank on your newfound celebrity because you're Sanderson and you are popular. So and, and you're too good to get outside. So you need to remotely sign an agreement with uh, Warner Brothers, and so they send you an e-sign document, and uh, they do that by pres by downloading the app. You get three free signatures a month, and you're golden. It's an effective way to remotely do business. I do it all the time. I use it uh, when a client can't come into the office. I just uh, remotely have them sign the retainer agreement. But you can use it for anything like a power of attorney, any kind of uh, rental agreement. And you know, here's the other thing: it cuts down in the time. So if time is of the essence, maybe you need to strike while the iron's hot. Effective way to get it done fast. Go to eSign.com. They are the purveyors of remotely doing business. So now we're. I haven't seen this. I just I know that he that people have talked to him about doing a reality TV show. Let's see what his uh, his post verdict comments are. I'm gonna be on the internet forever, right? And uh, <laughs> you might have a reality show, Terry. This is a crazy world we live in here. You might have a reality show, Terry. We're gonna have a crazy world with. Is that well, what's that guy's name? That's a guy from Extra. Um, anyway, reality show. <laughs> I don't need that. Terry was in remarkably good spirits after losing out on what could have been a $3 million payday. Was Terry Sanderson at fault? Yes. Yes. It was victory and vindication for Gwyneth, who released this statement. I felt that acquiescing to a false claim compromised my integrity, but not her compassion. The world witnessed her stop and speak to Terry right after the jury delivered its verdict. Um, go f*** yourself, Terry. No, I, she didn't say that. Her exact words, I wish you well. Very kind to her. I said thank you, dear. I said thank you, dear. Here is the bandana run, where Terry and Gwyneth collide. It can get quick at times. It's not that slow. Better watch where you're going, buddy. This right here is the steepest part. You can get going pretty darn quick through here. And I think this is where Terry said... It I've actually skied that. I've skied Deer Valley. That's not exactly where I skied. I skied the blacks, but. I've never been hit harder in my life, ever. But he didn't break. Well, he broke some ribs, I guess. You can break ribs just by falling on them. Ever. I've never been knocked so flat, hit so hard initially, and just pounded. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. No. What do you think were the factors going into the decision, Terry? Well, it wasn't the. I think it was kind of my own personality. And I think my own testimony, in fact, it was just me. It wasn't the other guy that's inside my body because the other guy, you know, he was out to launch. And we, I tried to get him to testify, but he just wouldn't come out. The, bin, the facts of the accident because, as I said, I brought absolutely the truth to the accident. And no reason to wonder. This really is like a bad version of people's court, you know, when you see like Judge Judy or whatever. And they still won't. And I brought it for that reason, because I wanted to see if justice prevails in those situations. She's not lying. Terry's a good person. He's not a good... So somewhere in there, it's just, at the end of the day, along, he said, she said, there was nowhere anyone could go. Yeah, and, and of course, you get some assumed credibility from being a, a famous person. That, did you hear what he said? Some assumed credibility? What did the jurors say? You know, we did a reaction to the, what the jurors said. The jurors said they were initially suspect because they had to take into account she's an actress. So it cuts both ways. You know, you, you, people just take it. Who wants to take on a celebrity? Really, no wonder I hesitated, right? Do you think so she was lying? And with he didn't hesitate. Her version, because Bob said no. I believe she thinks she has the truth. I believe she thinks that. Um, um, but I know. I know. I absolutely know, and I said I would not bring any falsehoods. I'm going to. You know what else I know? I know I owe a lot of 
fucking money to Gwyneth Paltrow and her team. <laughs> Closure in the case. Can you have closure now? You. Will you be able to come, go on? It's not going to come this fast. It's just going to take me a while. It took a long time to get here. Thank take you for it. your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. Now he could appeal. He could appeal this verdict, and and I would suggest that he do that because I mean the, the attorney's fees are are outrageous. But he, I, what lawyer is going to take that on on the contingency? Nobody. Today, one of the jurors, Samantha Emery, spoke out on GMA. There was in the back of my mind, yes, this woman's an actress. And, you know, I took that into account. But I didn't feel that she had a reason to lie under oath. She's always in the spotlight, so she always has to be honest. The eight-day trial was full of gone viral moments. Well, I lost half a day of skiing. I have newfound appreciation for Ms. Paltrow. If she has to deal with all of this on a daily basis, I can't even imagine. But I can't even imagine. I mean, I'm going to go out to lunch with uh, Mr. Sanderson's other personality. You guys, should, you guys should get to know him. Court watchers I talked to said this attorney for Gwyneth stole closing arguments. That young James um, Egan. Egan. He's an impressive young man. Mr. Sanderson's asking to be compensated for a ski injury that the evidence shows that he himself caused. He really knocked it out of the park. Yeah, he was good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. They call him Clark Kent. Was, uh -huh. Oh, yeah, did, yeah, yeah, they do. I guess they find him attractive. Quickly tell us, where are you going right now? I'm going to see my one-year-old son. He had his birthday during the trial, and I haven't seen him. He just learned to walk. So You haven't seen him walk I, yet? I, I have. He's. He, 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 I saw him on Saturday, but that was the one time in those last two weeks. So James, you know they're calling go. you Clark Kent out there. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. got to be a little weird. I've heard that. It's, Is it's, that weird? It's weird, yes. <laughs> he thinks he's above the law. Great job, buddy. Great job. So there's only one reason for Terry Sanderson to take a swing like this, and that's to make a payday. You know, he, 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 in trial, he was his own worst enemy because I, I just don't think people bought what he was selling. And his, his, you know, we heard from one of the jurors that his own testimony contradicted their own experts. I mean, that's just a matter of prepping your client. And the difference between the talent of Paltrow's uh, team and Sanderson's team was stark it was just absolutely stark long gone in your life that gets brought back things from 30 years ago so one of the reasons that in a civil case like your past comes up it becomes up because if you have some pre-existing condition well even if you were on a particular drug for a very short period of time and now you say you're on that drug again because of this accident you're gonna that that comes in and it comes into play should be meaningless. One of your lawyers said today it's tough to sue a celebrity. Tell us how tough. The resources that are available to them, and I doubt if they, I got the feeling that they never really knew what was going on. They were so protected, and uh, it's, they're, they're really, this is odd having so many cameras. Yeah. Up. yeah but I'm sure. But he's smiling. He just lost his ass, and he's smiling like hell. You know why? Because he likes the attention. People generally like the attention of the media because it makes them feel important. But, you know, whenever I have a case, I generally try to keep it out of the media Well, because they're usually more salacious. Medical history was basically displayed for the world. Was this worth it? Absolutely not. You know, knowing that... Absolutely not. The fact that I lost my ass and now I owe her millions of dollars. I don't know how much he's going to owe, but it's going to owe quite a bit. And, you know, and, and they should have known this going in that they had an uphill battle. But I, I suspect that they were never offered anything to settle this. So this has just been our little look into uh, Mr. Sanderson's post-verdict comments. Just a quick, this is a, a, a quick analysis. Because when, when you go to trial, going to trial is really the last resort because this was a dispute between two parties. And you really, you know, you got to know the downside of going to trial. And this downside for him is going to put him in bankruptcy. You watch. Because he's going to owe a lot of money. And whether Gwyneth Paltrow will, I, I bet you any money she doesn't really seek to collect. She may. Um, she's a tough businesswoman. She's worth $200 million. She's got a, you know, and... and she didn't want to be walked on, and I and I can appreciate that. So, so we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. This is our, our re little reaction to Terry Sanderson and uh, his post verdict comments. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts.
Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god.